My name isn't Max. I'm going to talk to you about my car. Kind of a 169. That's the exhaust. I, I'm still in love when I look at this. Holy shit! Holy shit! What's up guys? Good morning. Welcome to this POV review by Autostop NL. My name isn't Max, but it's Martijn. His dear colleague. Max is away with his girlfriend enjoying a small vacation. So uh, today I'm going to talk to you about my car. As you know, recently it has had a remap and it now has 375 horsepower and 557 newton meters. The remap has been done by Mosselman and today I'm going to talk about everything we've done to the car about some side notes I have to give, uh, which I haven't given in my last video. Uh, so, a lot of info and a lot of action, I promise you that. We are going to take this uh, to the Autobahn in this video and really gun it. If you haven't seen the video about the remap and about the intercooler, the new intercooler from Wagner, check out this video in the top right corner. Okay, let's talk about the car and how it turned out like this. I think it was April 2018 that Max and I decided that uh, we needed two cool cars for our channel. So we wanted a car that would be nice to travel with because we travel a lot and a car that would be nice as a project car. So I would uh, pick the project car as my daily driver and Max would uh, go for the cruiser. So he decided to get a BMW 535D and I decided to get this BMW M135i. So guess which car brand we love. Um, I got this because I just love a small car with a six cylinder, I told you before. So first thing we did, we know a lot of tuner companies, companies who make special parts for cars. So first thing we did when we got this car was an exhaust. I mean, that's the most obvious upgrade, I think, when you get a car. We did a full Armitrix exhaust. So that's the exhaust plus downpipe. And it made a hell of a sound, as you know. I will link a video in the top right corner over here. So uh, check that out and just check out how insane that sound really is with that decal downpipe because it doesn't have the decal downpipe anymore. Um, so next thing we did was a few cool carbon upgrades. So we have this rear wing, which it really can use. I mean, it's kind of a 169 if you don't have the wing, I think. And we got the carbon mirror caps, which are also really, really nice. They still look awesome. We got these from jhparts.nl. They do ship elsewhere, so not only in Holland. Che go check them out. They really have very, very nice carbon parts for BMWs and other car brands. Then we got some engine upgrades. So we got this Arma Speed intake. So that's also carbon, obviously. But oh man, this I, I'm still in love when I look at this. Just look at this little plaque with that serial number. Oh man. The Attention to detail in this thing is just breathtaking, I think. So if you want an insane intake for your car, go check out Arma Speed. Uh, then we got, what else did we get? The oil thermostat housing from Musselman Turbo Systems, who have also done the remap. Um, about that remap. I have to tell you something about that, which I didn't tell you in that video. This car is from May 2013. And if you have a car that's later than May 2013, you get an electronic wastegate. And that's good news because they are way more tunable. This is the pneumatic wastegate, the PWG. The other one is called the EWG. 
This one is a little bit less stable because of that wastegate. So this engine is not really great to tune. We got all these performance parts on it. I mean, the intake, the oil thermostat housing, the exhaust, of course. Uh, as I told you, I got rid of the decad downpipe because of the, the resonating sound. I, it, do, it drove me absolutely insane. I mean, the exhaust sound was just perfect. It was so loud, so cool, really perfect. But the interior droning was just, oh, that was awful. So I got rid of it. We could have gotten a bit more power if we installed the decad downpipe again but we are not going to. So then we remapped it, or Mosselman did of course, because they are the experts, and we got 375 horsepower and 557 newton meters. And we had to limit the power because the fuel pump could not keep up. That's a problem with these cars. A new, bigger fuel pump is really expensive it's like 3000 euros and i think that's too expensive for more power because i can tell you with the power it now has it already needs a limited slip diff and it doesn't have one so that's going to be the next objective for this car but first before talking about the next objective i have to test it i have to see how fast it really is and in order to do so I have to start it up and I have to go to the Autobahn so here we are at the Autobahn let's see what my M135i can do now it's been properly tuned 375 horsepower 557 newton meters this should be awesome okay let's first look up what we did when it was stock i have a little document here with all our verified performance numbers so 100 to 200 that's the run we're going to do um where is it m135i 13.52 so that's the time to beat 13.52 um to put that into perspective, the M1, the M2 competition with MDCT gearbox did 10.6. So what I'm hoping for is to get like a 12.5. That would be really nice. Uh, let's get the Draghi app up. And wait for a bit of a clear. Okay, first run, here we go. Holy shit, holy shit! That was 11.0! That's M2 competition territory! I mean, that does a 10.6, but... Holy ma- this is insane! I, I didn't expect it to perform like this. Okay, we have some room left. Let's see what the top speed is, because Mosselman have also removed the limiter. And we have some space. So just, this is just a seventh gear pull. Normally it tops out at 250 GPS, which is where we are right now, but this keeps on going. As you can see, this is already 260. trouble getting the M2 competition at 270 on the speedometer not the GPS 
This thing is fast. I'll tell you that. I mean, 375 horsepower, but that torque is just pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling. It's insane. Oh man, what a machine, what a machine. This, I'm in love with my car. I mean, I, I already felt that it was a lot quicker when it was remapped, but now to see the results is just so it's so unexpected how fast this thing is it's immense oh man thanks so much to Mossaman and all the suppliers the M135i is now it's faster than a normal M2 I mean no doubt but it's far yeah it's nearly as fast as the M2 competition and I think it behaves better with higher speeds. So thank you very much for watching. Um, you should really check out the Mosselman M4 Max Meta POV review of that car. Check it out over here. You can subscribe by clicking the big button right here or check out any of our other POV reviews in the playlist right here. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.